I'm Professor David Schaefer. Um, the course is Principles of Macroeconomics. Now, macroeconomics as a field didn't even exist until about 75 years ago. My particular course focuses on macroeconomics versus microeconomics. Macro means the big picture, micro means the small picture. So in macroeconomics we try to focus on the entire economy. What is it that generates jobs in the economy? What is it that generates growth? How do government policies affect all of those kinds of things? That's what macroeconomics is about. So we're going to try to measure things like the total quantity of everything we produce and the average price of everything we produce, and how much it's changing over time. So this is the first class we're devoting to macroeconomic issues uh, exclusively. We've spent about three weeks focusing on general economic issues. And we're starting from the bare bones when we talk about macroeconomics. We're saying, first you have to be able to measure something before you can try to explain it. And measuring macroeconomics things is actually a pretty big challenge because of their size. Uh, as economists, we're interested in things like prices and quantities and profits. And it's easy to define what those are for one business. You can go ask some questions of an owner. They can give those things to you. But what's the total quantity of everything produced in our entire economy? How do you add together autos and fruits and shirts manufactured? and doctor services rendered, and lawyer services given, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You have a real problem here. I would say there's basically two things I focus on especially. The first one is not unique to economics. It's really uh, about any sort of field where, where you want to think carefully about things. And that's developing stronger analytical abilities. Um, in advanced levels, economics is a lot like physics and engineering, that you're faced with a a complex kind of situation to look at and to understand it you have to break it down into pieces and examine different pieces and then put it all back together logically and learning those skills is essential not just again in economics but for many other disciplines even in writing and history you need those analytical thinking skills now a public good is defined as something that once it's produced and usually it's going to be produced by government everybody gets equal pieces of it in some sense in other words in my neighborhood, the people that live next door to me get exactly the same national defense protection that I do. The other thing, the second part that's probably equally important has to do with economics specifically and politics and being a good citizen in our country. Uh, when you read the newspapers today, you read about jobs being created or destroyed, you read about profits going up or down, you hear different presidential candidates saying exactly opposite things about the economy. Some of the most important decisions that vot voters have a say in have to do with economic policies. If you're going to listen to political candidates and try to intelligently pick which one you prefer, first of all you have to understand most of what they're saying. And so this course is going to provide most people with enough backing in macroeconomics that they could sit down and read a good newspaper article after the course is over and say, I think I understood most of that. And they could listen to the debates and they could say, what this candidate was promising is just unreasonable. They were promising everything with no trade-offs. Um, economics is heavily about trade-offs. When I understand that, I realize this person can't completely give us these things unless they give up something else. So I need to be skeptical about some of the things that are being said here.